Yes, as uh, I was saying to a friend there, uh, as long as I can get my tits out, then life's really quite good, isn't it? There's nothing, nothing to worry about. Get your tits out. Get your, uh, get your, t get the pins out. Actually, get the pins out. Can you know what I mean? Like, get the pins out. You're so vain. You probably think the song's about you. You're so, you're so vain. Yeah. Yeah, live undressing. Yeah, ah, no, it's, uh, it's a bit chilly, but uh, essentially, boom, 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 da, 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 boom, 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 da, 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 there's no nice structure to this, obviously, you know, which is, uh, I think I've sort of cultivated that lack of structure. See, the thing is, you've got to break up the structure, as uh, the great Don Van Vliet said. It was all about breaking the collective, not, it's not smashing the collective reality c completely, but, you know, sort of breaking with the structure somewhat is sometimes necessary, I feel, you know, in order to... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I was just doing it the skate part. Uh, I was uh, Ken. I was just doing it the uh, Davy Bass. Uh, and then I went to Kings and then Ken Thingy and Thingy and they were at the they were at the hang, they were at the the drag show. And I was like, Are we actually at the drag show? Oh, it was good, wasn't it? It's was fucking brilliant. Best show I've ever seen them free. No joke. I tell no lies, it was the best show I've ever seen them freeze, you know. It was really quite good. Down, down, down. Da, 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 da. Oh, down, down, down. Uh, I've done that one. If, yeah, if, I've done that one. I've uh, done that one. Uh, Max, I've uh, done that one. I've uh, done that one. Uh, can you not come up with your own shit? Well, the thing is, right, essentially what I'm trying to say is, right, I woke up, Ken, I was telling him. I was telling you. <laughs> Will I climb on the bruce? Will I climb on the bruce? I'm so fucking rock and roll. Ken, like Danny McCaskill, but Ken without the tricks. Ken, make the best of what you got, as Ozzy said. Ken, what the fuck I mean, like a boom, boom, boom. A da 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 See, the, the more you get on this, right, you start realising, right, I've touched on this before, but let's touch on it again, right. You know how, like, the world operates in a, uh, no, what it was, it was what I was going to say before, right, I woke up, right, kind of how the, the aliens tinkered with me, right, I wasn't on DMT, that's what happens when you get to this level, you come to me and I woke up and the aliens tinkered with me, it was like, I woke up in the middle of the night at four o'clock and about half three, four o'clock or something like that, and it said four, four, four in the clock, no, it didn't really, but I woke up and then the, the aliens tinkered with me, right, there was these wee drones, and they were as real as this statue is right now, the fucking drones, you know, we're going zzz, 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 all these wee mini drones. It was like that kind of thing when you wake up and actually project and wake and awake but sleep and uh, and then they tinker with me and then zzz, and that was a process that lasted about a week and they all tinkered with me and they upgraded me from alien to super alien humanoid that is able to integrate more into society and manifest the glorious divine divine define the divine potential that uh, exists that well, always that was there but get out of your own way and come back to home like you know uh, fucking we're gonna build myself a rocket i'm gonna go on and home back home exactly space is my home you see we're that i need to go back like star child I've seen, i have seen the sunshine shine in paradise i am just a star child born in space harmony look at that and if I really was an alien, I'd be able to do the two harmonies at the same time. <laughs>
But <laughs> that's what I should do. I should record a song and then do that and then record the harmony and overlay it, Ken, because I've just taught myself how to sing. She look quite fucking amazing. I'm not just a drummer, Ken, as Bill Hicks said, Ken. But anyways, getting back to the point and beat the fucking... <laughs> Ken, the statue, right? Ken, I was the only man from the freeze that last, that, that lasted on the toughest the movie gig you could ever wish to do as a, you know, soldier. It's basically soldier, athlete, extra, slash actor, because, you know, it's, you, know, you can act in as well, right? Plus, going to the moon all in one thing. It was really quite an achievement, that, wasn't it? And why are you still banging on about that, Ken? Like, I'm like the war veterans are just banging on about the war stories. No one wants to hear, hear that, do they? Like the Stone Roses, I'm Resurrection, just be you in the moment. But the thing is, it's still, it's still there. It's always there, Ken. Ken, like the Robert voice, the Bruce's voice is always there with me. Tell me to keep going, Ken. But anyway, Ken, how I basically put this statue up. They put this statue up as a thanks to me and my services to art and music and drama and everything else and they put it in for me so this basically that's why i come down here this statue is mine would you like to expand on that david and say why it is yours because that sounds ridiculous okay well when i had a wee private screening right i ken what i was doing ken it was my higher consciousness ken my aliens my drones ken were telling me to do this all this shit everything everyone tell me to do it all ken what I essentially happened was, right, see, after I did the outlaw king thing, right, what happened was I invited Stuart Patterson, who was kind of on the Facebook at the time, and he was there at the Robert the Robert Burns Centre and did we it was a crap video, but it was just the the, the, the the joy of having completed the thing, you know, as Michelangelo Beto said, don't just do it, finish it. So I completed it, didn't I? I finished it, so it was a glorious celebration. I was really quite high as a kite. I'm still high a kite high as a kite from that. It just never leaves you that shit, you know what I mean? When you're you can never leaves you that because you go you know, but you can't, you can't, you like, you've got to be like Roddy O'Sullivan and like, move on to the next one, kind of be dwell, dwell, stare, but no dwell to pass, can't what the fuck I mean, like, that's what it is, I, but anyway, so I invited Stuart Patterson to the thing, and he turned up, and he said, so again, the wee kiddies have got permission to, the wee kiddies have got permission to like behind the scenes shit because of one of the local luminaries that says behind the scenes shit is okay. So then they go, oh, he says it's okay. So that allows me to think it's okay as well. Find out what to think, Chris Morris, Ken. So basically what happened that, oh, ricochet, ricochet, you take your way, fire away, fire away. Oh, yeah, I am titanium. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. What Davy Bass can Davy Bass, Davy Bass, Davy Bass, the Dint, the Davy Bass, 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 the turned up at the thing and then he said he goes i like behind the scenes thing so he he got it it was like a wee kind of thing so the point was right he's probably connected to lord lieutenant tenant of the freeze fiona armstrong fiona armstrong i'm i'm uh, neil armstrong and again she can gaslight me for getting the moon and back a thousand million different times can gaslight that's quite clever that because remember the guy punched buzz let's just say that again the guy punched Buzz Aldrin in the face, Buzz Aldrenaline, that's quite clever, that's when you get to this level of poetry, it just fucking comes to you, can I didn't even need to call myself a poet, it's just poetry, it just comes to you, can So, gas, gaslit, as Buzz Aldrenaline, for having been to the moon and back a thousand million different times, and then they said he didn't do it, so it's like that, Ken, so he punched Buzz, Buzz Aldrin in the face, and he's like, fuck you, and he, sorry, he said he, had, he didn't go to the moon, he's like, fuck you, and he punched him in the face, how dare you suggest that, of course it went to the moon. A bit like me, because there's no real proof, is there? A bit like me with my shit. There's no proof, but nevertheless, those stories live on forever until the end of time, and all that shit lives on through your heart. Live through life through the heart, brave heart. Yes, life it life is living through the heart, isn't it? It's not doing what someone else tells you should do. Because if, if I'd done that, I'd be working in the call centre, wouldn't I? And I'd be, I'd probably have shot my brains out by now. But anyway, getting back to the point about Stuart Patterson thing, right? He 
he was connected to that kind of came what was doing so he he might have the influence the Dave influence the ripples went out kind of was royalty in a former life so I'm waking up to my true abilities now I'm a late bloomer as what's his name said so I'm, I'm waking up to my put my true potential can that everyone tried to fucking smash it at me but no luck because look at me I'm flying high now man yeah that's what it is yeah I could get up in that and pose with my fucking muscles it I didn't really care who's watching right and I just show you the muscles and all that can 10,000 mile a year and all that. you know all that stuff but you can that's, that's past shit as well but as but we're <laughs> you never know I might be better this year just by can we've got can can you're like Kim, your energy level, like, electricity, got to be for Kim, electricity, Kim, the energy's that high, it's actually easier to go quicker, because it happens without even having to try so much, so I might, I might get better, less is more, without even trying, let it happen, rather than, you know, I mind that kind of like, things happen to me, no, things happen for me, no, not to me, by me and then for me for me is the one you want to get i'm kind of basically there that's what i'm trying to say for me it's all happening for me everything's just everyone's just like an extra in the movie of my life so everything's there just to uplift me and everything's there for the divine purpose just to make me fucking brilliant can fuck anyone else, anyone else so but me and my goals as long as i'm no harm anybody then can in a nice way can they're just there to serve me can because i'm fucking royally can i mean like that's the last and toughest movie but anyway getting back to that so stuart parson right obviously put this in for me he put the ripple dave ripple well i put it in really didn't i well even i'm gonna try so he's obviously he decided after ha after having seen the thing the 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 the, the, the private screening he was obviously like Right, fair enough, right, I'll tell what's her face about it, right, and then we'll, we put a, we'll put a statue in. Because I think it's the least we can do, considering Dave injected a bit of pride in the tune. Not pride in himself, but it, the ripples went out, didn't it? So then he was like, right, let's put a statue up for Dave. So he did, and that's quite good, isn't it? So it's, it's my statue, and it's my park. Um. So if anyone misbehaves, I, I get to tell them off, you know, but anyway, they are.